I was checking my social media feed because now I'm back on IG. I'm posting a lot more on there. I wasn't really posting much because I just found the platform to be a bit boring and a bit dead. But now that I've kind of jumped back on it, I don't mind it. And to be fair, I'll use most of my time on social media, mostly on Twitter anyway. So even though I'm posting back on Instagram, I'm not really on it as much as I was in the past. I'm not really seeing a lot of stuff, but I'm on it from time to time. And the time that I was on it, as the algorithm would have it, the algorithm popped up on my feed, a post from a friend or somebody that I knew from the scene posting up um a flyer for their birthday i think it was their birthday party and they posted up a flyer and i was like oh posting a flyer for your birthday party at like 40 however i think it was the 40th birthday party or somebody i was thinking jesus boy that's a little bit that's a little bit wild right like kind of you know it's almost like you're thinking of of as a celebrity or something maybe you are a bit of a scene celebrity there are certain people within your little scene that are maybe a little bit more popular than others and naturally, those type of people, even when you were younger, were very um, in demand. And maybe if they did have a birthday party, everyone would want to go. But I remember the first line of this person's post was something like, oh, yeah, I know usually these things are like, I think he said something like, oh, usually these things are like private, but I don't want to be inundated with like DMs. So I'm just going to make this public thing. It almost felt like he was doing us a favor. He was doing the public a favor. I'm going to put this flyer together and make this public on my feed. So if you're around, just come through nice and easy, nice and, you know, chill. No personal invites. Blah, blah, blah. I think to myself, bruh, like, you like over presumptuous, like, motherfucker. Like, what the fuck is this about? But then I thought, you know what? It's pretty nice that people do that sort of stuff because I'm the complete opposite. I don't care about birthdays in the slightest. I actually think men who care too much about their birthdays have something kind of wrong with them. Men who like, take pleasure in celebrating their birthday and have like a birthday week, a birthday month, like there's something wrong with you. I think that sort of stuff should be reserved for the girls and the gays. They seem to like enjoy that sort of stuff and it kind of suits them a little bit more because they seem to have fun with it. They go a bit crazy. They get creative. They be loose. It's kind of all tongue in cheek. But I think as a dude, you kind of owe yourself a little bit of dignity, right? A little bit of like respect and not have like a birthday month or not have a birthday you know six months or a birthday year you know what i mean you need to relax when it's your birthday you celebrate it you do like all you do like all men do with their feelings you bury it deep down you only celebrate it on the day in the evening you pour yourself one little shot you drink it maybe you go to a restaurant and you get yourself a nice meal you eat that meal or you go to oh oh actually what you do you go you go to a bar and, or, or you go to a really good bar, you get yourself a nice cheeseburger and some fries, right? Or you get yourself a nice bowl of fries and a flipping martini, right? And you, you sip that, have a good time. You tip the bartender well, and you see if you can pick up some slaws at the, at the cocktail bar. And, you know, and as you go to the toilet, you slowly take off your fucking wedding thing, your wedding ring. That's what you should do as a man. You shouldn't be online posting like, birthday week, come on. That's out. That's out. Anyway, he did that and he seemed to have a good time because then the following day I saw pictures of the actual birthday and I was actually in two minds about actually going mostly for the like the chaos of it because a lot of these people that I'm talking about I know I'm being a bit vague and not really being detailed about it because it's not necessary to kind of say names but if you know you know a lot of these people that this guy's friends with I fucking hate but not hate like I remember why just hate because I just hate their faces their vibe, their auras. Back in the day, they used to kind of all act like they were better than you and all this sort of shit. Cause they, you know, a lot of these people were the first people in our kind of crew to have like office jobs. While some of us were still working retail and trying to figure stuff out, they kind of got in, in an office. They worked in a showroom. Maybe they were, maybe they went to go work for your favorite brand and they kind of lauded it over, you know? And I always used to think to myself like, hold on, you're just an employee though. Why are you going on as if like you are the head of something, like you're doing anything good? Yeah, you work there, fair enough, but you're just an employee. Like, relax, like simmer down, which is always funny because it's always the, you know, it's like in Supreme, like usually I'd imagine the people that work in the head office might be, a, might be some wankers. They might be some cunts, but more than likely, if you also bump into fucking James Jebbia in the coffee shop, he'd actually have a five minute conversation with you. He'd actually be cool. He might even take a picture of you. He'll sign something. But it's the people that are in the head office that don't even, that never did anything about founding Supreme, just like working there five years ago, that kind of walk around as if they're fucking Mr. Supreme. It's fucking weird. Anyway, those people from that guy's friend group are people that I dislike, but I don't know why. I just dislike their faces. And I wanted to actually go to this guy's 40th birthday party just to cause havoc because I know it's like that weird thing. Like, I, they know I don't like them. I know they don't like me, but I don't know why. But I'm never going to ask. I'm never going to make it obvious that I don't because I don't want to ever look pressed. That's something that I've always maintained in my life, even though 
I might have a lot of feelings about somebody. I will never let you know because I don't want you to feel like I'm ever thinking about you or that you occupy that much space in my mind, even though you do, <laughs> even though you do, and I play out the argument I'm going to have in my head with you like a million times. And then when I see you in real life, I just kind of turn the other way, right? As we all do. But I wanted to go just to cause havoc. I wanted to go to this guy's birthday party simply to cause havoc and make a scene. Because as you guys know, I've shared it in previous podcasts before, I love clearing a room. I love purposely going to places, saying certain things, riling up people, trolling, whatever it may be, just being a contrarian and clearing a room because a lot of these people are fuddy duddies. They like to have the right opinion. They like to be on the quote unquote right side of history and all this sort of gay shitty stuff, right? Not having fun and not really actually enjoying themselves. So I like to kind of make, you know, shake things up a little bit and just remind people that, hey, by the way, we're all pieces of shit here. All of us are pieces of shit here. All of us are cheats, liars, scoundrels, delinquents, addicts. Like, we're all fucking garbage people. Let's not start, like, acting as if, like, we're better than people because we decided to vote fucking Labour this one election. Like, get away from me. So I wanted to go just to cause havoc, but then I saw the pictures. Then I saw the pictures of the people who were actually there, and I'm thankful I didn't go because I think it would have got... It would have got violent. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not that guy. I know I'm not that guy. But I think it would have got violent. There are, there, there are sometimes, there's this like rage inside of me sometimes that I sometimes I'm very scared of because I know if somebody did push my buttons in real life and I felt like I was being mocked or embarrassed and it kind of made me feel like how I used to feel back in the day when I was coming up in a scene, I think I would explode and the explosion would result in people's families crying, you know, go find me pages being open and shit it would get fucking dark really quickly so i purpose to keep myself away from people to protect them you know that's what i'm doing it for i'm 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 staying out the way to make sure that you are safe to make sure that you go home to your cat you go home to your fucking dog you go home to your fucking bald-headed boyfriend yeah you know i mean i'm making sure that i do that because i don't want to i don't want to cause a mad i want i don't want to cause a mazzoline and then get emails and DMs. Ah, ah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not on that vibe. So I'm glad I didn't go. But it was interesting to see these people because I was also thinking to myself, like, a lot of these people don't want to let go. I've noticed something like that about me where I think it's a, it's a, it's a pretty toxic trait of mine. I think in that sometimes when I'm over things, I kind of just cut it off and move on. But I can also do that with people. When I'm just, you know, when I don't want to talk to somebody, I just will just pretend like they don't exist. And then usually in a couple of weeks time, I would actually forgot their name and I'll struggle to recollect it or to recall it, which is really bad as well. But hey, we've all got our things. But I did see a lot of people who I thought, wow, man, you guys are still holding on. But part of me like felt bad for them for still holding on and still trying to be a part of the scene. But a part of me also was like, you know what? I get it. You know, you you clearly still enjoy this shit. You clearly still love being around these people and this type of vibe. You want to be around that, you know, certain studios. You want to go to the first Thursdays. You want to go to this store opening event, capsule collection thing. You want to go to this book signing and see all the cool people standing outside drinking their shitty free beers. Like, I get it. Cool. Do your thing. Um, Enjoy it. But I just would rather, like, have phases, like, in your life. Because I think if you kind of group, if you kind of break your life up or the timeline of your life into little blocks i think it's better because you get to enjoy it so in that little block that you have where you're gonna go crazy and have a good time and party everywhere that is a really intense time maybe it's 10 years maybe it's five maybe it's two but once that's over i think it's nice to just move on to other things i don't think it's cool to hang on to it and to still try to be that guy or girl because more than likely in five or ten years time you won't have the same appetites anyway or the same endurance levels or right you just won't be there so why put yourself through pain and hassle when you could just maybe enjoy it for the time that you're in it and then once it's over you can move on to something else but then you have fun memories of it because when you were in it you were in it you know what i mean you really went for it super hard as opposed to like trying to hang on to it and being this like old fuddy daddy in the corner, still fucking taking fucking dabs of MDMA in the corner and still thinking you're with it. It's like, bro, you're gonna you're gonna pay the price tomorrow 
and and the next day and the next day and the next day trust me i'm speaking from experience so sometimes it's good to let go of things but i saw a lot of people in these pictures who just don't want to let go some girls who still think they're the hot girl around town it's like bruh you look expired i can see the fucking crow's feet all over your eyes the wrinkles are all over the place your face looks a mazzoline like some of these guys as well it's just like i don't know you see you see guys like you know over 25 wearing jorts and you're like hey you need to let it go man you need to hang it up, bro. It's over. You know what I mean? But these niggas don't want to let it go. They don't want to let it go, man. But it's fine. It's fine. I get it. I get it. Um, I, I just think the idea of me posting a flyer for my birthday party will never, ever happen. At this, st- at this stage of my life, it's never happening. There was a time in my life where I was like genuinely cool. Because I don't think I'm cool now. I think I'm a cool person. I don't think I'm cool. You know, like, you know, like, you know back in the day, I was definitely cool. Like, people would look at me and think, oh, yeah, that's a cool guy. I want to hang out with that cool dude. I want to be in that cool guy's presence. Anything that cool guy does, I want to do. But I don't think I'm cool, cool. Like, that era's gone. That's done. I just admire the cool people from afar. I see what they're doing. I'm like, yeah, salute. But I just do my own thing. My little weird, nerdy, redacted, losery thing in the corner. But I'm not trying to, like, pretend I'm cool because that is loser behavior. Because the people still trying to be cool are probably the genuinely most uncool people ever especially if you're actually trying like you're trying to tick all the boxes and wear all the things you've got the fucking iphone holder thing you've got the little fucking clips the little fucking anime 3d printed clips that you put on your airpod maxes you're wearing the fucking sambas or you've got the sonder nikes and shit you've got the fucking horrible gen z early 2000 era fucking tattoos you've got a tramp stamp you're wearing like dangly earrings and shit you're painting your nails to seem edgy you're smoking fucking cigarettes to give you a personality like low it low it let, let, let the kids do that shit let the kids do that shit if you're over 25 just hang it up hang it up it's done it's a wrap it's done it's done but hey what do i know absolutely nothing